So one of the main things that's allowed me to be successful with majority of my e-commerce and dropshipping stores over the past few years is the fact that I'm selling products that I know customers are actively searching for on the internet because by me building my entire store with a foundation of products that I know that people are searching for and they're also currently buying, it's going to increase my chances of me being able to make sales every single day. And that's exactly why I was able to quit my full-time job, travel the world to various different locations while still being able to make an income from my dropshipping stores even on holiday. So make sure you watch this whole video from start to finish so that you don't miss anything that could potentially change your life. So as always, I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna get right into it. If you find any value in this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so one of the first things that I did that allowed me to jumpstart the amount of success that I saw with one of my first ever Shopify stores is the fact that I was selling products that I was already having success with with one of my eBay stores. So for those of you that don't know my backstory, the way that I was able to get started with an e-commerce business was by initially listing products on eBay and then I was able to grow that store to around $50,000 per month, $60,000 per month. And then from that point, I now started listing those exact same products on my Shopify store and on my Amazon store as well. And the main reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because if you're able to use a product research tool to find a product that's selling well every day on both eBay and Amazon, that's going to increase your chances of you being able to also sell that product on your Shopify store. The most common mistake that a lot of beginners tend to make is that they try and build an entire store around products that no one is searching for, no one cares about, no one wants to buy. When in reality, if you try and build your store with products that are currently selling well on eBay and Amazon, again, you're going to increase your chances of you being able to make money every single day. All right, so for step one, when it comes to finding the best winning product to sell, and by the way, there's so many different ways to do this. I'm just gonna show you one of the methods that I've been using recently, which is by first and foremost, starting on AutoDS. And for those of you that don't know exactly what AutoDS is, it's a automation software that allows you to run your dropshipping business a lot more efficiently. Whether it's listing products a lot more faster, whether it's fulfilling orders a lot more quicker, AutoDS is gonna be able to help you with that. But they've also got this new feature over here called Marketplace, where they're gonna be able to show you all of the different products that people are dropshipping right now all around the world and they're also having success with. So I tend to come on here whenever I'm trying to find a new product to add to my Shopify dropshipping stores for me to kind of get an idea of what's currently performing well. So just to give you an idea of exactly how it works, one of the first things that I do is come over to this section over here where you're gonna be able to see all of these different categories. From this point, you can select any one of these different categories that you want your Shopify dropshipping store to be built around. But in today's example, I'm going to click on clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Then what I do is to scroll through and see all of the different items that are currently selling well. Now there's this product over here, which is winter thermal gloves by the looks of it, that AutoDS is telling me is currently doing well. And now that I'm aware of this, one of the first things that I do before I do anything else is go over to Google Trends. And straight away, we can see that since 2008, around the same time every single year, more and more people are going onto Google to search for thermal gloves, which means that around these times, it's probably the best time to sell them. So you may not wanna sell them, you know, let's say around March, April, May, June, July, but these are the times that more and more people are going onto Google to search for thermal gloves. Okay, so now that I know that the product is being searched for on Google, and I also know that according to AutoDS, a lot of people are selling it right now, one of the next things that I'm going to do before I start drop shipping it myself is to make sure that the product is being searched for and it's also being purchased on eBay. And one of the tools that I can use to help me check that is Zeek Analytics. And for those of you that don't know exactly what Zeek Analytics is, it's an eBay product research tool that's gonna to help you see so much data that's gonna help you make better decisions when it comes to the products that you're thinking about selling. And the way that it works is very simple. So in this case, we're gonna type in the item that we're looking at today, which is thermal gloves. From here, you're gonna be able to change all of these different filters. So in today's video, I'm going to change the shipping location to the United States. And I'm also gonna change the eBay site to ebay.com. I'm gonna leave everything else the same and then I'm gonna click on search. So right there we can see that over $45,000 was spent on a product that contains the words thermal gloves in the title. We can also see over 7,000 individual units has been sold and this particular product has over a 92% successful listing rate, which means that majority of the thermal gloves that were listed on eBay was able to make a sale in the last 30 days. So I'm sure that we can all agree that this particular item is currently doing well 
on eBay. People are searching for it. People are buying it, which means that if we was to sell it on our own Shopify stores, there's a chance that we're also going to be able to make sales as well. But before I move any further, one of the next things that I'm going to do is head over to Amazon and do the exact same thing and figure out whether or not people are spending money on thermal gloves, specifically on Amazon. So in this case, I'm not going to be using Zeek Analytics because that's an eBay product research tool. Instead, what I'm going to be using is Helium 10 because it's going to allow me to see similar data to Zeek Analytics, but instead it's going to show me all of the information and data on Amazon. So what I'm going to do is use the Google extension Chrome tool and click on this option over here where it says X-ray Amazon product research. And straight away, we can see that over the last 30 days, over $7 million has been spent on thermal gloves. Taking a look down here, we can see that some sellers are able to make $1.7 million in one month. This seller was able to make 600,000, 600,000, 500,000. All of these different sellers that are selling all of these thermal gloves are able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars from one single listing. So now that I know that I found the product that people are searching for every month, and I also know that I found the product that people are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on it consistently, one of the final things that I need to do is find a supplier that's going to be able to fulfill the orders directly to my customers and there's so many different suppliers that you can use out there but one of the suppliers that i'm going to show you as an example in today's video is cj dropshipping and for those of you that don't know exactly what cj dropshipping is and you're completely new to it it's basically a dropshipping agent and the way that it differs from websites like aliexpress is that they're one company where they go directly to the manufacturer to buy the products in bulk hold it in their warehouses and they essentially help dropshippers all around the world whether it's aliexpress is a website with multiple different suppliers which means that you're going to get different levels of quality and service depending on which product you're dropshipping and which supplier that you use however one thing that i've noticed with cj dropshipping is that there's a certain level of consistency that you can expect with all of the different products that they sell now the way that you're going to use cj dropshipping is very simple all you need to do is search for the product that you're looking to dropship in this section right here so i've just typed in thermal gloves and i'm going to click on search and from this point you're going to see all of these different options that are available now from the research that i did on both Zeek Analytics and Helium 10, I noticed that this particular type of thermal glove is currently doing well. So let me just click into it. So this is the product page right here, and I'm gonna quickly navigate through it just so that you have a full understanding of the most important things that you need to look out for. So one of the first things is the product price. As you can see, there's a range between $2.46 and $3.19. And but for you to get a more accurate price of what you can expect to pay, you need to click on one of these variants down here. So for example, if I'm looking to dropship the black one and I'm also looking to dropship the large size, as you can see, the price is gonna be around $2.47. But it's very important that you scroll down to this section over here where it says shipping fee, and you're gonna be able to now get a total drop shipping price by looking at this section down here. Now, moving on to this right section over here, it's gonna let you know which warehouses are available. Currently at the moment, this product is only available in the China warehouse. But if there was other options, for example, the US warehouse, the Germany warehouse, the British warehouse, you would have been able to select it right here. So scrolling down over here, the next thing that you need to look out for is the inventory levels. So as you can see, there's over 24,000 units available in the China warehouse, which is obviously a lot. And this is going to let you know whether or not it's worth your time and your energy when it comes to scaling a particular product that you found on CJ Dropshipping. Because if there was only, let's say, 50 units left or 100 units left, you may not want to put a big ad budget behind it. And one of the final things that I'm going to show you is this section over here where it's going to let you know the estimated delivery time. So as you can see, it's going to take between 7 to 15 days for the customer to receive it if you're going to be shipping it from China to the United States. So in my opinion, this isn't really that long. Now, of course, you want to be able to get to the point where you're buying stock in bulk and you're going to be able to offer your customers around two day, maybe three day delivery. But when it comes to testing a particular product, this range isn't really bad. And there's also tracking available as well. But of course, there's a lot more that goes into building a drop shipping business. I just wanted to give you the basic things that I needed to know on my journey for me to identify what a winning product was in terms of making sure that people are searching for it and making sure that people are actually spending money on it. But if you want a little bit more information on some other things that I had to do when it came to actually getting people onto my website for them to even buy my product in the first place, then you can watch my completely free webinar by clicking the first link in the description down below where I explain what I had to do for me to get to the point of making over $1,000 in profit every single day for my Shopify dropshipping business. Or if you rather watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I break down some other important things that you need to know if you're a complete beginner that's looking to take your first step when it comes to building your dropshipping business from scratch, you can click the link right there. Check that video out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out too. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.